Well, hello, hello. Where have I been? I've been really busy. I've been dealing with a lot, but we are going back home and home is Keto Omad. Keto Omad is the diet that I made this transformation with. It's been a battle for the last while. I've been dealing with a lot. However, I don't quit. Been trying to transition into a new career. Been dealing with a situation in my building that involves authorities. And been trying to study with a concussion that makes me fall asleep. Well, to be fair, my concussion is much better. And it is the reason why I started Keto Omad. After getting into a car accident, I binge ate, over ate, couldn't control myself because when I'm in pain, I just, I don't know. When I'm in pain, I can't work out. If I can't work out, I get depressed. When I'm depressed, I eat and I eat and I eat, which is how I got up to 229 pounds. And it's how I got up to 282 pounds. Same situation, gave birth to my son, got into some pain. Doctors didn't understand the female anatomy, I guess. They don't understand when a woman gives birth. You know, the pelvic floor can cause issues until I got a physiatrist that was a woman that figured it all out. That got me depressed for years and I ballooned up to 282 pounds because I ate and ate and ate. I am a person who needs activity in their life. So when I'm injured, I get depressed. I'm trying to learn from that. But anyway, I'm back and I'm back on Keto Omad because I've been spending the last couple days studying my brains out. Not days, but week. I had a phone interview last week. Now I have a job interview in a couple days and that job interview requires me to learn some stuff. So I've been working hard on that, but rest assured, I'm here. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I see all the comments and the whole lot. So thank you for being here because it's been a battle. <laughs> been hard but here I am so I am currently starving and I jumped into keto omad a few days ago but this is a good keto omad because it's a good fast we are at 22 hours into my fast I'm going to show you guys right here as you can see I was going to do a 36 hour fast but I can't can't when I study I don't know why I just can't so 22 hours and 23 minutes into my fast I have some of my meal prepared right now I have a total of 1,074 calories. I do need to add an extra cheese, so let's do that. Edit, and that's gonna change it to three Havarti cheeses. That brings me at 1,054 calories. I'm gonna be eating a little more, because I'll probably have a protein shake. I'll probably end up under 1,600 calories, which is my goal. So yes, that's where I'm at. So let's get the Keto Omad going. So I've got 94 grams of bacon here, and my burger is melting. I've got a medium chuck roast. So no, a medium ground beef bacon, not bacon, but burger. Ah, it's melting. I'm using one hand for the light and one hand for the camera. So I'll peel it out in a second. But in total, there's like 94 grams of bacon. Someone commented, bacon's a carcinogen. Way to go. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know what's a carcinogen? Eating processed food. Yeah, is bacon a processed food? I guess it is. But it's just the fat ratio for it is like perfect for keto. I don't think it's a carcinogen. I think it's a carcinogen to eat carbohydrates that are refined. I think it's a carcinogen for people to consume foods that are processed carbohydrates, I would say. You know, I'd rather have processed pork over processed carbohydrates any day. And that's probably the only processed pork I'll have. I got four eggs in there and three slices of the cheese. Now, as you can see, the Chuck Burger's in there melting things away. The lighting's gonna get a little darker, but that's what I have. And don't worry, you know I have my vegetables because what is a proper keto diet without fiber, hello? And here is my vegetables. Lots and lots of asparagus. No, these are not asparaguses. It's been a while, I'm a bit rusty with vlogging, but what do you call these? Brussels sprouts. So there's my keto omad meal. I'm gonna break my fast right now. 22 hours and 26 minutes so let's get it oh my god really i don't want 40 percent off let's get it done oh i forgot to take a picture well it's 27 minutes now done done no save to photos save to photos done i'm gonna break my fast with some bacon because why not mmm I love keto omad. It just makes me feel well. Now, hmm. 
people are gonna have their opinions about me building muscle with keto omad remember when it comes to muscle it's about the stimulus and i'm learning how to stimulate those muscles because i am going to become a personal trainer i've been the most muscular in my life because of keto omad and that's when i had no knowledge of personal training now i do so watch what happens i'm using this to cut because it's just what i need with all the stress i've been dealing with i'm currently watching the real high swives of new jersey i can't speak right now this is the only real housewives i watch i watch this and i watch jersey shore two only re reality tvs i watch i don't know why i just love italians on italian americans on reality tv i know it's not a representative of who they are it's reality tv but i do love this one anyway my next little meal or snack is some dark chocolate with some peanut butter and there you go and that's i don't know her she's new what's her name Rachel, I think her name is. Rachel Gouda. This video was filmed like a month ago, so I'm gonna drop a few tips with Keto Omad. So as you saw in the vlog, I ate two processed things. That was cheese, which is processed, and I had some bacon. Now, when it comes to losing weight with keto, you can go with dairy, but eventually when your body starts to be very resistant, because it will happen, Basically, when you start your weight loss journey, you can be a little bit more liberal. As you get closer and closer to your goal weight and you get closer to closer to losing more weight, that's when you have to get strict. That's why I don't recommend people going really strict in the beginning because you're just going to run out of uh, resources for weight loss. So if you're doing keto OMAD in the beginning, you can have your coffee, black coffee, or you can have your coffee with cream first thing in the morning, fast all day, and then eat your meal and then as things get start to get more resistant you would maybe eliminate the cream from the coffee and just have black coffee in the morning and then fast again and keep going and then when you hit another plateau eliminate coffee altogether because coffee when you for some people it can make you ah what do you call it can make your glucose levels spike it happens to me so later on in my keto journey i just eliminated coffee in the in the morning and I just had my electrolytes. And then when things start to get sticky again, then maybe you close your eating window. Let's say you're doing a 20 hour eating window, maybe, or a 20 hour fasting window, maybe bring that to 22 hours and or 21 hours and incrementally work your way through there. This is why I don't want people going so extreme in the beginning because you wanna give your body a chance to lose weight on the bare minimum. That's how you win at this. If you go too extreme, you have no resources. That's why with dry fasting, I've only done it once in my journey. And that's a tool I will use once I get to that point of leanness. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little Keto Omad vlog. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word sky because it's a beautiful day today. The sky is blue. I'm looking out my window. It's just so pretty. And I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye. Bye.